this is a demo, which means we don't need a disc or anything like that. So here we go with the demo. Boom! The remote Lua loader is working. Okay, so I am on an 11.40 PlayStation 5. As you can see here, I'm running a couple of games and demos that require 11.40. And then if I just jump over here, you can see the system software at 11.40. Now, what we want to do is, is that we want to take advantage of that Japanese PlayStation Network account on our main kind of PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. So I'm going to go ahead and log back in here. We're going to add a user. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and sign in manually. Now, what I just signed in as is the account that I created on screen yesterday. And so if we go ahead and we go through the rest of the sign-in process, then finally we will be here in the PlayStation Store. So again, you can see that this is the Japanese store. So we're going to begin by typing in H-A-M-I-D. And this is for the Hamadashi Creative Demo. Now, from here, we can just go ahead and hit the download button since we purchased this just the other day. Now, there's a couple of ways to re-download games you've already purchased, but I just want to show everybody what I'm typing here in case this is your first time. So, J-I-N-K-I -I for the second demo. And here, I'm going to go ahead and download that for Jinky Resurrection. And we're just going to go ahead and download one more demo here. And that one's going to be F-U-Y-U. -U. And we'll hit done. And right there it is. And we'll just go ahead and hit download on this one. And now there is one more. It's the IX She Tell demo. Now, I just want to go ahead and just show y'all that you can't actually put this on a PlayStation 5, but it will work on a PS4. So see, it doesn't have a demo. Now, I did trigger the download of the demo through the website and you'll see it pop up right here in just a second and there it goes it now has been added to the queue but one thing that you will find out is is that once this downloads this will not run on a playstation 5 so really no matter how you try to get this demo on it won't work but the other three demos will so let's go ahead and let's just go back and let me just go ahead and prove that out. So here is that demo and it says get a playable version. If I click on that, obviously there is no playable version except for the paid version. Now here are the other three games here. And if you want to, you can just go ahead and play with one of these and just see how well you like it. And what we want to do here, though, is I'm going to go ahead and close back out of this because I'm in that Japanese account, which I'll honestly never log back into again. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over to my name here. And we're going to go to log out. And we're going to go ahead and press the PlayStation button on our controller here. And now I'm going to go to my main account. And yes, this is my actual main PlayStation account that I keep updated. So here are all of the demos here. So let's go ahead and do Amadashi Creative together. So I'm going to hit start here. And you will have to press X on this screen right here. And then once we get into the game, I used to spend a whole bunch of time watching all of this stuff right here. But you really don't have to. You can get over to the menu, which let me go ahead and get that popped up here. Okay, and then from here, you can go over to where it says save. So there I'm using the directional buttons and there is save. And just put it in the very first slot here and that is it. You will never have to fool with this crappy game ever again. Okay, so from here, go ahead and you can just either close out of it, which I'm gonna do, and go ahead and go back over to your settings. Settings, and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to where it says saved data and game app settings, PlayStation 4, and we're going to go to upload or delete from console storage. And we're going to select OK here and go ahead and attach a USB drive. 
to your PlayStation 4 or 5. And from here, we're just going to select this one right here, which is the Hamadashi Creative. And what we're going to be able to do from here is we're going to copy that signed PlayStation save game over to our USB drive. Now, we're going to use Apollo save tool in just a second to re-sign it and to get the remote lure loader on it. Okay, so let's take out this USB drive and plug it into a jailbroken PlayStation 4 where we have access to Apollo save tool. And from here, it's actually going to be pretty easy. Okay, and so from here, we're going to go straight to USB saves. And well, that is the only save on this system. And what we need to do here is we need to scroll down a little bit. And we're going to go over to the option that says copy save game to the hard disk drive. And then just go ahead and press X on that. So this will get that save on our local PlayStation 4's hard disk drive. And then we can go in here to HDDD saves. And this one right here is the Hamadashi Creative demo. You can also look at that icon up there. And now we need to go copy to USB drive because here is where we're gonna have the decrypted save game. Okay, so back over on the remote Lua loader page, just go to code and then download zip file. Okay, and so on the right hand side, you will see my USB drive that came right out of my PlayStation 4's hard disk drive. And then on the left hand side here, I am in the remote Lua loader zip file that I downloaded. So I'm just gonna go into save data and I am going to copy and paste all of the files directly on top of the USB drive that originally came from Apollo Save Tool, as you can see just right here. Now at this point, we need to go back over to Apollo Save Tool, and this time we're gonna to go to USB Saves, and we'll have one that has a padlock and one that doesn't. If it has the padlock, it's encrypted, and if it doesn't, then that means it is decrypted. So we need to apply the changes and re-sign it. And from here, we need to go ahead and we need to select copy save game to hard disk drive. Okay, so the final step here is we need to go back over and go to settings and scroll down here to application save data management. And then we're going to go to save data and system storage. We're going to copy that over to our device and you will want to overwrite everything in here. So we're gonna go yes on that. And once this finishes up, we'll just need to plug this into our PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 and import the save. So back over on my PlayStation 5, I'm gonna go over and first off, just delete that existing Hamadashi creative save that is already on the system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of another demo that I have, but you don't have to do that. We're gonna select delete here. And now at this point, I wanna start completely from scratch. So we're gonna go down here to where it says copy or delete from the USB drive. And we're gonna press X on that. And right there from our USB drive is the only save game that is available and we're just going to copy that over to our local playstation's hard disk drive and from here we can go ahead and start up the game and it should work and this is a demo which means we don't need a disc or anything like that so here we go with the demo boom the remote lua loader is working so very cool and so you may be wondering, well, what can you do now? Well, if you go back over to the remote Lua loader GitHub repo and go into payloads, well, you'll see a number of different payloads that you can play with. And yes, you can start up an FTP server on the very latest and greatest firmware and do a few other things. Now, it has some instructions in here, but just wanted to show you how to run the hello world.lua. Over here, I'm already in the payloads folder, which contains all of these files right here. And if I want to send over the hello world.lua script 
on my machine, I needed to download Python, which I already had. And then you run the send underscore Lua dot Pi, and then the IP address of your PlayStation 5, the port number, and then the Lua script that you're wanting to execute. So if I press X on this, then it comes back and states hello world from Lua. And we can see this is running on an 11.40 system. Now you may see this one right here, which is the FTP server. And that one's pretty interesting to take a look at as well. So if we come back over here, then we're just going to type in FTP server dot Lua. And then I'm going to press enter on this. And on my PlayStation 5 screen, it just gave me the port of 1337. So if I use something like FileZilla and I go to the site manager and I create a new profile that has my PS5's IP address, the port 1337, and then change this right here to only use plain, and then anonymous, and then if we press connect here, you will see it will pop up this dialog box. We are going to allow insecure plain FTP for this server. So then, well, right here is the 11.40 PlayStation 5's hard disk drive with a sandbox where it will let you access a few different things in here. But it's still really cool that you can kind of come in and see this stuff right now. And there is a few more. Now, obviously, you can't do things like run UMTX or the Laps exploit because something such as PS5 11.40 doesn't have support for that. But you could take your PlayStation 4 or 5 offline at this point and, well, just enjoy it and wait until there is an exploit for it. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.